Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode dedicated to binary operations. In the previous two episodes uh, we saw how to convert between uh, decimal system and binary system and the reverse. And uh, in the previous episode <coughs> we saw how to apply simple binary operations. In today's episode we'll look at some advanced operations and I will cover uh, shifts and rotate. And uh, why are these more advanced? Because uh, the previous operations like uh, AND and OR uh, can be applied at bit level and uh, we discussed uh, what's a truth table uh, and how to extend uh, what we can apply at bit level to the word level uh, that's multiple bytes uh, multiple bits so today uh, we are going to explore some operations that uh, do not make sense at bit level and uh, they can be applied only at word level uh, I want to remind you uh, that a word uh, is uh, either a byte, uh, this is 8 bits, 2 bytes, that's 16 bits, uh, 4 bytes or even more bytes. In today's computers we speak about 64 bits and maybe even more. So uh, that's a word. Uh, in the examples that uh, we'll be covering today uh, I'm going to use uh, uh, bytes, so words with uh, eight bits, eight individual uh, binary digits. And also the shift and rotate uh, usually ignore uh, the sign. So in some cases the first bit uh, is also known as uh, the sign bit. And uh, today we are going to ignore this and uh, just consider the <coughs> uh, entire word as uh, binary digits uh, without considering uh, the sign. So let's take a look at uh, the first operation that's uh, shift left. So what happens we have uh, the binary digits I've uh, represented them here as uh, D0 to D7 uh, you will usually see this notation with uh, the rightmost uh, digit uh, being d uh, zero, so position zero, and the leftmost uh, digit uh, d seven, uh, or uh, the seventh uh, position. And actually, that's the eighth position, but. Uh, we are uh, noting it as D7 because we start uh, the numbering at 0 and not at 1. Okay, so we have the positions uh, from the right 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, and in total we have 8 digits. So, uh, shift left uh, in some high level languages we uh, note it like this. Uh, and uh, we try to shift uh, the number by n digits and what we obtain is uh, this result so basically uh, all the digits are pushed uh, to the left uh, the first digits are replaced with zeros and the last digits are actually lost because uh, in our world we have only eight uh, digits eight bits so, for example, if we um, try to shift left with 1, uh, the first one here uh, will be lost. Yeah? So everything is pushed to the left, uh, the first position is completed with a 0, and the first digit in this example, it would be a 1, uh, it will get lost. Okay, so this is the new uh, number. In the second example, uh, we have this other number here. Uh, notice I've placed a space here uh, between the first four digits and the last four digits. Uh, and if you remember from the first uh, videos, 
uh, four bits is called the nibble. Okay, so I've actually uh, split the word in the two nibbles. That's just so you can uh, follow the example easier. But uh, still, we are looking at uh, one word of eight bits. Okay, so in this case, we have this number here that starts with one zero and then we have one one zero zero one zero we try to shift this number left with uh, two places and we get this number so what happened here uh, all the digits were moved to the left uh, the first two digits are actually lost because they are outside of the eight bits so we start here one one zero zero one zero uh, and then we have uh, two missing digits that are uh, completed with zero and we get uh, this result here uh, notice that regardless of the input number if we shift left with eight or more positions then we always get uh, zero as a result yeah, because all the digits are actually lost, are outside of the 8 bits, so we get only zeros. So I can see here, okay, shift left with 100, you know you will get a zero. And uh, always a shift left with uh, the dimension of the word, uh, in this case the word size is 8, uh, will produce a zero so for example if we use a 64-bit word a shift left with a value 64 or larger will produce zero uh, also notice that uh, one uh, shift left with uh, a certain number n uh, is actually uh, 2 to the power of n okay so, for example, if I have one uh, shift left with one, the result will be one zero. Of course, uh, the first digits being zero. And one zero, uh, if we convert this back from binary to decimal, is actually two. So one uh, shift left with one is actually two to the power of one, which is two. And you can, of course, uh, try to verify this and uh, see what happens if we have one shift left with three, four, five, and so on. And remember, this is always uh, limited by the word size because one uh, shift left eight is not two to the power of eight, but it's actually uh, zero. And as you increase the word size, you can compute uh, more uh, powers of 2. Uh, also, uh, any number x uh, shift left with n uh, is actually uh, x multiplied by 2 to the power of n. Okay, and again you can uh, try to verify this. Now, uh, similarly, uh, we have shift right, so in this case all the digits are pushed to the right and we have uh, zeros uh, inserted uh, to the left of the number. Uh, so again I have some examples here. Uh, this uh, number where we have all ones, uh, shift right with one position is actually this number here with zero and uh, that has been ones. Also, shift right with 2. And uh, notice again that uh, any number uh, shift right with uh, 8 in this case, because we have 8 bits, uh, will produce 0. So this is the same uh, thing that happens uh, with the shift left. Okay, so when we shift, regardless of the direction, either left or right, with the word size, uh, we always get zero. Also notice that in this case uh, shift right uh, is equivalent to a division by 2 to the power of n. Okay, So again you can try and uh, check this on paper and uh, take some examples for x 
uh, try to shift right and uh, see the result is actually a division. And this is the reason why these operations are important and are implemented in uh, almost all of the CPUs. Now, uh, we also have a rotate operation. Uh, again, as with the shift, we can have rotate left or rotate right. I've uh, used here the symbol uh, roll uh, in uh, many uh, assembly languages. You will find uh, this uh, instruction or something similar. So what's happening? Um, for example, for the rotate left, again, we have the, seven, the eight digits from D7 to D0. Uh, a rotate uh, to the left means uh, we start uh, similar to a shift, so we push everything to the left, but then uh, the bits that uh, would uh, normally get lost uh, are actually uh, placed in the beginning of the number. So in this case, no bits are lost. And we can actually um, use this... Uh, equation here um, to write an equivalent for the rotate left operation using uh, two shifts and the binary OR operation. Um, we discussed the binary OR operation in the previous uh, video. So let's see an example. Uh, if we have all ones uh, as we had in the previous two examples, uh, then uh, rotate uh, left by one or by any number would actually give the same number. Now, uh, in this second example, uh, rotate left by two uh, would give this example. So let's take a look here. So we push everything to the left by two places as uh, in the shift left example, we have one zero, so the first two digits are outside of the representation. But because we have a rotate, uh, these are then placed uh, in the beginning of the number in the positions that uh, remained unoccupied. So we no longer insert zeros, but instead we insert uh, the digits that would normally uh, be lost. And um, you may notice that any number uh, rotated left by the word size, in our case 8, uh, will give the same uh, number, x. And uh, this is true for any multiple of the word size. So uh, if we have the word size 8, uh, then uh, rotate left by 8 or 16 or 24 or 32 and so on uh, would give the same uh, initial number. And again, you can try to check this on paper. Uh, similar to the shift operations, we also have a rotate right. So again, in this case, uh, all the digits are pushed to the right and uh, the digits that would go outside of the representations are then uh, moved uh, to the left of the number. So again, there are no zeros being inserted. Instead, uh, the digits that would uh, be pushed uh, before the position zero are uh, placed uh, to the left of the number. So no bits are lost. And again, we have uh, an equation here that allows us to compute uh, this rotate right using uh, two shifts and the binary OR. So uh, again, some examples. Uh, and similar to the rotate left, uh, if we have only ones, then a rotate right by any number would just give uh, the same representation with uh, all ones. Uh, then uh, for this particular number, if we rotate right with two, 
then we have all these digits pushed to the right. Uh, the first two positions would uh, remain uh, unoccupied, but uh, these two digits from the right, one and zero, would be uh, rotated at the end of the number. Okay, so we would get uh, this representation. Uh, and again, uh, we sh uh, must make this observation that any number rotated right by the word size, in our case 8, would give uh, the same initial number. And this is true for any multiple of the word size. So uh, x rotated right by 8 or 16 or 24, 32 and so on uh, would give the same number. But uh, again, this is dependent on the word size. And in our case, we used bytes, which have 8 bits. So the word size is 8. And uh, finally, uh, we should note that uh, in uh, many CPUs, uh, these operations, both shift and rotate uh, in both directions, may uh, optionally employ a carry flag. So in this case, uh, you should imagine the word, uh, which in our case is a byte and has eight bits, uh, is actually extended by this carry flag. And uh, you can actually imagine this flag as being um, one uh, additional digit. And uh, this is placed uh, in the direction of the shift or uh, rotate uh, operation. So in this case, uh, we have a shift left. So you can imagine we have this representation and the carry flag is to the left. So in this case, when we push everything to the left, Actually, D7 is no longer lost. It is actually lost from the word, but is not completely lost. Instead, it moves uh, to the carry flag. And uh, the rest behaves as we discussed previously. Uh, we have a zero at the end. Of course, if we uh, shift left by two, then D7 is completely lost because uh, there is no additional position where uh, this may go. And instead, in the carry flag, we'll have the six, and we have uh, two zeros uh, entered in uh, our word at uh, the right. So again, uh, in the result, uh, we see here in green the carry flag, and in black is uh, the actual value stored in our byte. Okay. So everything that we discussed so far uh, still remains, but uh, you should imagine this carry flag as an additional uh, bit. And of course, this is uh, relevant for uh, assembly language programming. Okay, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and if so, don't forget to like and subscribe. So thank you and see you next time. Bye.